Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here with my last guest design team project for Saw Crafters. Saw has a Zibit store, and I will put the link to that along with her YouTube channel in the description box below. If you've not checked out her YouTube channel, she shows a lot of her products, and she also makes a lot of projects with her products. So I hope you check it out. And I will put links to the products used today down in the description box. So thank you, Saw, for having me on your guest design team. I really appreciate it. And I love the way this project turned out. This is a hot air balloon out of chipboard, and it's an album. And I do have a start to finish on this that I will also put on this video. So if you're interested in seeing that, then stay tuned. I also have a lot of detailed photos at the end. Um, to go along with it. So this album is ten and a half by about seven or seven and a quarter so it's a large album and the very front piece um, it comes with five pieces but the very front piece is just this cutout piece I adhered it down to the very first page simply because I loved the way this blue showed up and the paper that I've used is Somewhere in, Somewhere in Time by Bo Bunny. I thought this collection went fabulous with it. And this is, I got this from Cut at Home. So on the front, I used some vintage photo distress paint to ink the entire front of this. And I inked the back as well because at the time I, I wasn't sure where I was going with this album. Um, then I sprayed it with some Lindy Stamp Gang turquoise blue so it gives it just a slight bit of shimmer hopefully you can see that I cut out a clock from the Cameo and these are Saw's clock hands can you see the thickness on those these are just so gorgeous I love these these I painted in white picket fence distress ink and then added some vintage photo to the top of them along with these two pieces as well to distress them. This is one of Saw's numbers. The number doesn't signify anything. I just added the number 12 with some pearls. And here's her sentiments. As you can see this says incredible and let me see if I can show you the thickness on that. I also have a zipper from her store that I added some picket fence to to distress it a little. And one of her door handles with some pearls on either side. So I'll have links to all of those products, like I said, in the description box. Here I have some handmade flowers. Um, the blue one and the white one. The blue one I went ahead and added some of the white picket fence just to tone it down, grunge it up just a little bit. Same with these turquoise flowers in the back here. I added some white to them and all of these flowers here are from Craft Supplies One. I also added a rhinestone buckle with a pearl and a few pearls in here as well. I added um, some large eyelets with a binder ring as you can see here and just some satin ivory satin ribbon that I had. So on the first page I put a photo mat to the side. I have a tag on the side here from the collection. I use some gray seam binding to tie a bow at the top. I have some flat back pearls. I have some more flowers and a little bit of a doily from Craft Supplies One. On the second page I have some shabby trim that I had in my stash with more of those same flowers. Some ribbon and pearl and I made it into a pocket page. These are tags from the collection. Next page I have some more photo mats on both sides. I have a dress form that I inked with some stays on black and a prima flower that I had in my stash. I have another tag on the side that I use some black seam binding and look at this paper I love it. So journaling can be added onto these tags. On this side I added some more um, trim from Craft Supplies One along with some pearls. I have some more of those same ivory flowers and a photo mat up here with a tag. 
with some white seam binding. Again, some more photo mats. Here I use some of some lace trim, crochet lace trim, with some pearl that I had in my stash, some ivory flowers, and one of Saw's numbers here as well with some pearls. I added a few more pearls up here and another tag at the top with a bow. Again, a little bit more journaling. I have a photo mat that's open so a photo can slip under here and I have some more of that rosette trim with some flowers from Craft Supplies 1 and some pearl trim. On the side here, these two pieces, if you remember the dresser that I did um, probably about two weeks ago, these came out of the top of them. I saved them because they look like flourishes to me. So that, that dresser also was from Saw Crafter, so I saved those and added those to the side. And then on the very last page is a pocket page. I have some more of those turquoise flowers that I toned down a little bit with the white picket fence some of that double strand pearl and ivory flowers and then I made this into a pocket using the same collection and several more tags from the collection. So if you'd like to stay tuned for the start to finish then I will play that next like I said along with some detailed photos and all the links will be in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.